Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode's um, a post-fight show for UFC Fight Night, Blades vs. Dawkins, and MMA news from the UFC 273 um, pre-fight press conference. Um, little, well, not so much news, but more my uh, tidbit perspective on a couple highlights of the press conference. So, um... Let's do a quick rundown of the last UFC card to kick off the card in the lightweight division. We had um, Mark Dekazy defeat uh, via Chaslav uh, Borshev, a uh, decision unanimous, 30-27. This I did not see coming. Um, yeah, I, I thought Borshev was just going to steamroll right through him. Mark Dekazy uh, did his thing. Proved me wrong. Great fight. Uh, basically outstruck him. Then in the Walter Wade division, we had Neil Magny defeat uh, Max Griffin by razor thin decision 29 28 across all three judges. Um, well, 29 28 on two of the judges and 20, um, 28 29 on the other judge. Split decision. Um, my bad, excuse me. And um, yeah, this was a close, hard fought fight. It could have gone either way. Um, yeah, uh, if they gave it to Max, I wouldn't have argued either. Um, good, good fight. Neil Bainey, uh set the record now, to, uh, or ties the record with GSP for most welterweight wins in UFC. Then in the flyweight division, we had Kai Kara France defeat Oscar Oscarov, decision unanimous. Very impressive. Very, very, very impressive. Um, Kai Kara France, as far as I'm concerned, deserves a title shot, if not one fight away from a title shot now in the flyweight division. Then in the um, welterweight division, we had Brian Barberina defeat uh, Matt Brown um, by decision split. Great fight, went back and forth. This fight could have gone either way. Um, yeah, Brian Barberina. You know, honestly, I think Matt Brown should have won this fight, but it was a close fight. There was uh, very impressive spots on each side, but yeah, um, I disagree with the, the uh, judges' scorecards on this, but um, yeah, Brian Barberina, um, he did land some good shots and get some good, uh, good clean shots in there. Uh, then in the uh, women's Flyweight division, we had Alexa Grasso defeat uh, Joanne Wood. Submission, rear naked choke, round one. Um, this was pretty much what I thought it would be. Uh, good, clean win for uh, Alexa Grasso. And, um, yeah, she's still in title mix as far as I'm concerned. Then in the heavyweight division, the main event, we had Curtis uh, Razor Blades defeat Chris Dawkins. Second round, TKO punches. Very impressive win. Very fun fight. Um, this should have... Um, this should have been maybe fight of the night, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but um, a Brian Barberina and first Matt Brown got it, and I can't argue with that either. Uh, this was a fun card. Fun to see the fans back in the crowd. Uh, packed house, over 18,000 screaming fans. Um, yeah, so that wraps up this card. And now um, my thoughts on the UFC 273 press conference that just happened. We had a war of words between uh, Gilbert Burns and... Um, Kamzad Kamayev and um, that's going to be an interesting fun fight but then um, before that we had Aljo come on stage uh, with a football helmet and then the MMA rule book and I thought that was very entertaining and um, I think if um, if Aljo wins this fight he goes through the stratosphere in terms of popularity even more so um and Jan didn't seem to appreciate that uh, that banter. And um, I think that Bantamweight title fight is the one to watch out for. The main event's still going to be fun with Korean Zombie and Volkanovski, but I think this fight is going to be a barn burner um, in the Bantamweight division for the belt uh, to unify the belts. Um, anyways, um, stay tuned for my pre fight show of this. Um, of UFC 273 and uh, as always thanks for tuning in and until then see ya